Hey guys, how are you doing? Doing well, doing well, thanks. How are you? Good, good. Lovely to speak to you. Um, I'm really interested in both characters here. Um, I just I like Sophia for one reason is that she's the kind of a self-made person who doesn't essentially wants to be to be self-made for her own gain, but for to help others. Is there, can you see yourself in that in that character at all? You know, when you say it like that, yes. I mean, I've always said that me and Sophia are quite different. You know, I'm a goofy, silly, you know, outgoing, fun girl. You know, sometimes I have my like my, my social mishaps, but for the most part, you know, I I, I think I'm pretty much different from her but the way you say that I mean yeah when it comes to that retros retrospect of course I mean it's not really about me at the end of the day when you think about it you know it's about the bigger picture and how we're trying to make a change and Sophia is doing that in I would say bigger ways than I could ever do and I look up to her sometimes I'm like I wish I could be like you like you have such tenacity and grit and I like to think I'm someone who has that too, but she is a force, like a true force. And there needs to be more women like her in the world. What would you say was the most thing, the admirable thing about him? Arthur is a very good listener. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes that's hard to find in this world a little bit. Uh, people sort of, you know, fight for space and they want to be heard and they want to, you know, express themselves. But I think they're... You know, it's an admirable quality is someone who can stay quiet and to listen and mm -hmm. to offer support. And I think Arthur, on a very human level, has that in spades. I think he's very endearing, and I think he uh, sees the good in people and is wanting to help, you know, help them achieve whatever they need to, whether it be professionally or whether it be emotionally. Michaela, on paper, her, uh, like Sophia and uh, Molly are like talk and cheese, but I think there is a lot about them that are, that is very similar. What, what in your in your mind is are there sim similarities? What do you think? You know, I love that you use that. I always say they're like oil and vinegar, and mm -hmm. I like using that term because those two taste so well together. You know what I mean? You put both of those over a salad and it tastes fantastic. And for me, I'm just like, that's the best kind of like, kind of like a, a partnership you could ever have. Um, I would say when it comes to Sophia and Molly, they both have learned from each other in ways that I don't think they would have ever learned. And I think that's what makes them more similar than different. Uh, Molly has taught Sophia to actually wake up and smell the roses and start living your life a little bit and stop taking your job so seriously because the more you take it seriously the more you lose yourself like I feel like Molly has said that without having to say it and I also feel like Sophia has is also the person that's saying wake up Molly like there's so many things that we have to handle in this world it just doesn't have an encompass a whole life of glitz and glam but there's also things outside of that that would lend and would help if you could put your hand in it, if you could place your hand on it. So I think they're similar when they're uh, vocal with each other. They're very vocal with each other. I'm going to end by asking you, Nat, what can we expect um, between that to happen between Molly and Arthur this season? Ah. Um, can you can, can give us just a smidgen, just a little bit of, of a taster of that? developing relationship i i well i can give you yes <laughs> but i can't give you more than a smidgen or a taster or true, true. the other apple people in this room will kill me <laughs> literally uh no i think it is a continuation of sort of where we left off in the first season um i think arthur is trying to find his footing a little bit and trying to move past molly and having some success and then some failure in that. Uh, and I think Molly is sort of eventually trying to figure out what she wants. So they're, they're on parallel tracks in terms mm -hmm. of trying to figure out who they are as individuals and what they're wanting um, in terms of a relationship. And that track does sort of end up coming uh, close to each other. Mm -hmm. Um but again, it's it's still a navigation for them both for different reasons. How's that for a vague smidgen? Boom.
Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. And congratulations again on the second season. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Luck. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey, hey you guys.